what's the deal squad welcome to today's video and I want you to understand why this video is so important a lot of us and let me speak for myself because this may not be true for you I didn't care about my back all I cared about was my man boobs I just wanted to get rid of my man boobs but if you want a stronger chest if you want a, a, a shapelier chest you have to have a strong back so I want you to pay attention to the tips that my man Rich gives in this video. He is a, an amazing resource for this sort of information. He's a great bodybuilder. He has an amazing physique. And also, as you guys seen in that promo, the movement launch is happening August the 12th. And I'm super excited about it. For everyone who follows the Got Movement page and you click the link in the Got Movement Instagram and you sign up for the email list, I'm gonna be doing an early access, exclusive access for just my email list. So if you're not on the Movement Clothing email list, right now is the time. Follow Got Movement on Instagram. Click the link in the description and join the email list. Let's get into today's video. Peace. Today is Big Back Day with my man Rich from Hard Body. He's a bodybuilder. I'm not a bodybuilder, bro, by any means. He is way more knowledgeable about the science of bodybuilding and how to target certain body parts, whatever, bro. So big back day today. Let's get it. And I feel like a lot of people, myself included, struggle with lats. Yes. Like I had no lats when I first started training. I had to really be specific about training lats. Yeah. So let's make sure we give them some key exercises so that they can grow their lats because that, like you said, is what is going to give them the shape. Mm -hmm. That V taper, that's the what we call it. Definitely. All right, facts. All right, so let's we're get that in today. Yes, sir. Let's rock. Enough of the code switching. Been hitting my soul. Been on the ropes. I'm ready to grow. So get to know me. Keep your head up, I want you to grow with me. See this girl on me. Yo, any particular reason why you like to start with pull-ups? Personally, I like to start with pull-ups, I go wide. So when you do pull-ups wide, it really isolates your back, isolates your lats also. So you can get full range of motion and full squeeze activating those lats before we get into the weight training so, part. So specifically, you like to start with body weight Definitely, even chest, start with, just to get that blood flowing in the muscle group. Okay. So once you get that pump already before you even hit the weights, yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah. activate those muscle groups. Okay. So with these, we're gonna do assistant pull-ups. I kind of use the bands, and this will help like just focusing on the range of motion. You know I mean? Not necessarily swinging, yeah. keeping your body straight. Always go wide. You know why? Perfect. So you notice how the lats is going out. Full range of motion, full rotation on the lats. And you have to worry about lifting his body, swinging his body, just full gauging with the muscles in the back. Listen, every time I work out with Rich, the warm up smokes him. <laughs> I'm tired before we even get into the weights, bro. This guy is going to play. So we can get like four sets of these in and then get to the weights. So, what you, so what you, when you say squeeze in the back, right? So if you notice, you get a good form. I'm full range. I'm locked out and I'm coming up and I'm squeezing that lats. A lot of people like to do it from behind, come all the way down. So when you swing it back, all the way back, you kind of targeting the lower lats. So what we're doing is targeting the upper lats, so we're coming straight up, mm, okay. just like that, instead of going So the angle the matters. The angle definitely matters. The angle matters, yeah. okay. So if you want to swing it back more, you want to work more of the lower lats, you can, but well, we're coming straight up, that, 90 degrees of the elbow. So I'm saying more of the upper lats. And I'm more of the upper lats, correct. I admit that took a toll. I got addicted to scrolling. We know where that that get toxic. I got caught comparing me to people I don't even know. And it's good to go all the way down so you can actually stretch them lats out. Full range of motion to stretch it out. Good. So what rep range? If someone if someone is trying to like really shape their back, shape their back. Yeah. What rep range should they focus on? Between eight and twelve. Between eight and twelve. Yep. Okay. And a weight that's challenging enough to struggle at twelve. Mm. So if you wanna, if you got a skinny person trying to develop their back and get a thicker back, I would say eight reps heavy weights. You know I mean, you gotta build that thickness. Well, you already have a big back, and you wanna cut it up, lean it out, twelve to fifteen. Got it. Yeah. And you want to struggle on those last two to three reps for sure. Exactly, for sure. Okay. 
So what we're about to do right now, we're gonna do rack pulls. Rack pulls, we're just gonna target our lower back. We're going halfway down, not like a full deadlift, but we rack pull where you just concentrate on your lower back, arching it, and coming straight up. Lock that lower back in. Enough of the code switching. Been hitting my soul, been on the ropes. I'm ready to grow, so get to know me. Keep your head up, I want you to grow with me. See this gold on me. Want you to grow with me. Now, this is a very complex lift for two reasons. You do not want to round your back. You always keep your back engaged, chest up. You round your back, you put a lot of tension on your lower back and that's gonna cause injury. So you always wanna keep that tension on your lower back, come straight up, good. You can tell his back is engaged the whole time. So typically, how many movements do you do on your back then? I range between six to eight. Movement. Yep. And every exercise I get at least four reps in. So four sets. Does the, does the warm up count as one movement or yes? Is that just a yes, the warm up always count. So I usually do a warm up for every muscle group. Uh, obviously we did pull ups today. And before I start any any uh, weight training, the first set is always a warm up set, just to get our range of motion, just to get that blow flowing. So you have to exert yourself when you're trying to lift heavy. Heavy is not the is not the goal when you're training back. It's about range of motion and full range of motion, a full squeeze on the back. Cause if you're not squeezing the right muscle group, you're not training it the right way. All right, we're on the cables now. So you can see we're doing tight grip. This we're gonna hit the middle of the back. So we already hit some of the lats. Hit the lower back. Now let's target the middle back. And with your grip is very important, cause where your grip is at, where you target your back at. So we doing tight grip, target the middle back. Have you come on this side? See where we activate right there, yep. So once you bring back, lock that lower back and squeeze right in the middle. Perfect. And the reason why he leaned forward some, you're also stretching the lats out too. So you get a full range of motion on the lats for it to stretch. It's a leverage roll. This is a good machine I like to use because you're upright and you isolate your lats. So this one isolates your lats fully engaged. I can show you. And you're upright roll. So basically you're not bent over. You're sitting 90 degrees at an angle and just bring it back. There you go. Everybody lift different. Me personally, I supersets. I don't like to have a long rest between my, my sets. So I hit one muscle group, one exercise, go right into the next one, 45 seconds. I use the, uh, basically the pace that we go to burn calories as my cardio. Mm. So a lot of people don't do that. They, they just take two, three minutes. That's enough, enough time. I like to stay lean all year round. I don't like to put on a lot of mass. So for me to stay lean and eating right, I do cardio in between my sets and superset help with, the, with that. <sighs> So I'm gonna change the form a little bit. I want you to sit up right more. Yep. All right, so like go at yours. Pull it straight down, please. See, I gotta lighten it up a little bit. Okay. I want you to rock back, but don't rock too much far back. You don't gotta bring it to your chest. Bring it down to your chin right there. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Yep. So what we just did was take the momentum he was using and just activate his back alone. His lats are squeezing. Time to get a squeeze on and come down. The rotation of the lats, perfect. How many, how many sets? How many reps? 12, 12. So you do a twist at the top? So, yep, so we bring it, once you bring it, you're turning it and squeezing it right there. There you go. Now this particular movement, we just said, get it from the upper angle, so now we targeting mostly the lower lats. 
Okay. How many? Give me two of the friends. So that session was about an hour and 20 minutes. And the thing about training like that with the supersets, 45 seconds rest, like he mentioned, my heart rate was up in the 140s, 150s the whole time. So you kind of get a cardio workout as well as a hypertrophy, you know, resistant training style workout, which kills two birds with one stone. So shout out to my man, Rich. Make sure you follow Rich. Hit me on the gram, hardbody underscore rich. I mean, yeah. So all of his all of his information will be in the description below. You're gonna be seeing more videos from Rich. I may on the low. I may be doing another show soon. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think I should do another show. If I do another show, Rich will definitely be my trainer. All right. Remember, guys, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace. Thank you.